guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing an empties video and this is actually my makeup empties i think last time we did a skincare empties so this time it's time to declutter some makeup okay. first off can you guys tell me if you like these lashes on me sometimes i feel conscious wearing fake lashes i really like the ardell ones that are super super light and super natural like it's almost like your own lashes but better um but the ones that get a little too long or a little too you know va va voom it just kind of scares me a little i don't know tell me what you think honestly though as a friend okay. all right so we are gonna go through this video quick because i took longer to get ready <laughs> makeup empties it means i've used them up and i've put them to the test and i know what they're all about last year was a year of mascara so they kind of all expired on me at the same time so i have like five of these mascaras i have the pick Petra Large Lash Mascara. So, you know, Pixie, they're doing so well with all their products and launches. Um, I also have the ColourPop Lashes BFF Mascara. Oh, let me show you guys what the wand looks like in case you guys are interested. The Pixie one, I really like. It's very volumizing. ColourPop not so much i'm not a big fan of it it looks like a wand that i would actually enjoy but it just didn't do much for me for my non-existent lashes <laughs> and then i also have the covergirl lash blast volume um i like this like it's very lengthening it's very separating but i'm not a fan of the brush like sometimes it pokes me in the eye so um i love that it's waterproof because i can actually curl my lashes after the fact and they look even longer so i love that this is alme multi-benefit mascara so the reason why i have so many mascaras is because last year i had a video on like hypoallergenic mascaras so actually these two i believe were in my video that's another good video to watch in case you have sensitive eyes and you need a mascara and then thrive cosmetics is another good one. Oh my gosh this feels like weights <laughs> that's how heavy this is very well made high-end mascara i love the brush very lengthening very vol volumizing i suggest you watch my video on a full face of thrive cosmetics because i definitely have a review on quite a few products from thrive so check that out if you're interested first empties five mascaras um i went through a lot mascaras expire every three months and so technically you should just go through like three mascaras in a year <laughs> three to four so not not bad i mean i have five so okay another one that i've emptied is an oldie but a goodie the nyx hd finishing powder i couldn't wait to empty this for you guys because i have a backup and that's how much i love it i already have a new one here which i just got i can't live without speaking of which let me just go ahead and use it because i think i forgot but oh i love how it brightens my under eyes it's just a matte powder it's a finishing powder it's mineral based nyx highly recommended laneige sleeping care lip sleeping mask okay we all know what this is all about this is actually my daughter's empties i have the blue one which i haven't finished only because i'm going through so many lip glosses right now it's great for overnight I wouldn't use it as a prep to makeup application. It's a little too gooey and just all over the place, if that makes sense. A lot of people like this, but it's not as hydrating as I'd like it to be. But I guess it's a mask, so maybe it does it overnight. It's not my favorite. I would not pay full price for this. 
Smells good though. Gives me a nice moisturized lips, but I just don't feel that hydration myself. So that's just kind of odd for me. Although when I wake up in the morning, you know, my lips look great. I think last year in 2020 was the year where I barely had any chap lips. And I think it's because I really took care of my lips. Like I use all sorts of lip glosses and they all did a good job. Another empties of mine is the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. This is a translucent setting powder well you can't see it now but from Ciate very nice pretty packaging I love this powder it's one of those loose powders that highlights my face especially my under eyes I love to put it under my eyes I actually have the coconut version of this I prefer this one over this but they're still both really good Ciate London definitely a brand to look out for I haven't tried anything that I didn't really like from this brand. I mean, everything has been a hit. I'll let you know if you can buy this at Ulta or Sephora. I'm not quite sure, but I've gotten these in my boxes, either BoxyCharm or FabFitFun. Next one is a oldie but a goodie, NYX Jumbo Pencil. Okay, I use these jumbo pencils as kind of like an eyeshadow primer or an eyeshadow glue, if that makes sense. Like I have the white one, which I haven't thrown out. Um, maybe it's time for me to do it. The white one I use underneath lighter eyeshadows when I want colors to pop. The reason why I'm throwing this away is that I can't open it. Literally, I've asked my husband to open it. I just, I just can't. <laughs> it's been in its cap forever and I don't know how it glued itself in the hair, but it's gonna be great as an eyeliner pencil because it stays put it's very tacky on the lid i put a little bit on and then i just tap it tap it with my ring finger in order to spread the eyeshadow and then i top it with the real eyeshadow that i want but definitely jumbo pencil formula really good i have two brow pencils this is the color pop brow base gel and also from sunny's Sunny's face, I did a video, kind of like a full face of the Sunny's brand and I really like this brand. They are well known for their lipsticks and look at this, they're right next to my Pat McGrath lipsticks because they have that kind of similar formula. I know, I'm not lying guys. Although this is kind of like a Philippine base brand, my cousin from the Philippines got me into it and I really love the quality. So. I know I have quite a few subscribers from the Philippines, mostly my friends, <laughs> but you guys need to check this out. Sunny's face. I love this brow gel, but it is um, a little too gray on me, so I couldn't use it as much, but I love how it gives me these hair-like strokes. Highly recommend this one. I just need to get the right color. And then ColourPop Brow Gel Boss Gel. So this is what it looks like. This is what the wand looks like. I feel like it's a dupe for the, the Benefit um, brow gels. Is it? This is the Benefit Gimme brow. They kind of are, don't you think? I like this brow gel. I don't think it's 100% dupe for the Benefit brow gel, but this is a good one. Very affordable. You can get this at Ulta. And the last one here in my bag is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. An oldie but a goodie. Everybody knows this. You have to set your makeup. It just removes all that powderiness. Putting this on just kind of perfects and melts all of the makeup together and just make it more skin-like and more natural. So I love this, especially during the winter time when I have super dry skin, I put this on. This is it's supposed to last you 16 hours. Now it doesn't last me that long because I have oily skin. I love how it sets the makeup. I love the spray on it. Definitely good for drug stores. You can find this at Walmart or Target. Milani, another amazing brand by the way guys. That is it for my empties. Actually, there's definitely gonna be a part two, I believe. I have so many empties from 2020. So we'll definitely get through it in the next couple of weeks. So just be on the lookout for that. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do a skincare empties or a part two of the makeup empties. In case you guys are wondering, I know you're not. <laughs> But I'll tell you anyway what I have on my face because I'm always excited for that. 
Um, today I had a lashy box faux mink lashes. I'm starting to warm up to it. It's not bad. I'm just not used to it, guys. But this is actually as daring as it's gonna get. But we'll see. I always like to try new makeup. You know, you never know what looks good on you until you try them. I did have to cut a lot, at least a centimeter's worth um, to fit my eyes. It's just part of it. When you get lashes, you're supposed to cut to make it fit your eye shape because everyone's different. Next one, I'm so excited. Okay, I asked you guys on Instagram what foundation you'd like me to review this month and it's coming up, the e.l.f. Camo CC Foundation. I was intrigued and I didn't even hear about it until one of you guys brought it up. Apparently, the claim is that this is a dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This one right here. So, is it a dupe? I'll definitely let you guys know, but I have it on my face right now. What do you guys think? I can't wait to review this foundation for you guys. Since this is a camo CC cream, I went for my e.l.f. camo concealer, the mattifying one, plus the hydrating one. The hydrating one I use closer to my under eyes. This is in the color medium golden. What I have on my lips right now is the Pat McGrath in the color Fembot. And in case you guys are wondering, this is what it looks like. Ah, it matches my sweater. No wonder it looks so good on me. <laughs> I did pair this up with the uh, Sol de Janeiro Tawny Bikini. Uh, I will put the name of the color here. But it's kind of like a glossy sheer lippy. So that is everything on my face right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews as well as some unboxings here and there. So definitely be on the lookout for that e.l.f. CC cream review. And with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye.